Rescuers rush to evacuate people stranded by devastating floods across the southern Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sul on Tuesday. The deluge has left at least 90 dead and over 150,000 homeless, with many desperate survivors seeking food and basic supplies. Relatives waited at the shore of the Guaiba River in the state capital of Porto Alegre to find their loved ones on the boats that brought rescued people from flood-hit areas. Taina Silva is still waiting for news on her husband. My daughter won't stop crying. There are firefighters there, but they say they can't do anything from there, so I should come here and ask the firefighters here if they can save my husband there. The flooding has made rescue efforts even tougher, with dozens of people still waiting to be evacuated by boat or helicopter from rain-stricken homes. The downpour that began last week has caused rivers to flood, inundating whole towns, destroying roads, bridges and airports. Now the rain is forecast to let up on Thursday, but then will continue through the weekend. Experts say it's driven by a heat wave caused by this year's El Nino phenomenon, meeting a cold front coming off the Antarctic and unusual humidity in the Atlantic. In Porto Alegre, a city of 1.3 million inhabitants, downtown streets were underwater after the Guaiba River breached its banks with record water levels. Civil defense authorities say the floods have also impacted water and electricity services, with more than 1.4 million affected overall.